Moved down south on this trip of Dockside TV, and we're gonna fish a little bit cleaner water. Uh, we're down here by the Shalmet area, fish a lot more man made stuff, some industrial stuff, concrete. See what's going on down here. bit smaller reds than what we were catching last week so far and when you're fishing this industrial canal area or inter, I'm sorry intercoastal canal area down by the Great Wall of Shalmet you got the mist to go you just have unlimited amounts of locks down here you got the big giant new lock behind us you got the Bievenu lock we got one called the guillotine lock the violet lock those are four major hot spots and when i say the lock that don't mean you got to be up in it but the fish a lot of times will be somewhere near it somewhere around it congregated and holding out there's just a lot of rocks and other types of man-made structures out here that kind of heat up the water on these real frigidly cold days and them little reds will stack up around here we love fishing this area when it's really cold and also the chef like we did last week Last week, you saw us catching them in the marsh over there off the shelf. Me and Captain Chris has been fishing together the last couple weeks, really having a tough time finding these reds. And we ended up finding them over there off the shelf. And this week, Captain Chris has found them over here by the Great Wall. And uh, it's just nice to see that we can finally locate these wintertime reds. What we got here? Not expecting that. Gonna stink to grease. A little speckle trout in 50 degree water temperature. It's not too common. But we'll be fishing out here. Some areas that Chris had found is just some uh, little rock points and such close to the intercoastal, uh, the main lock of the intercoastal. We got a big hard falling tide that's coming through here. And they're kind of finding some ambush points on some of these rocks. And rocks will create heat in the dead of the winter time. And with these real frigid temperatures, just that little subtle heat coming from the sun to the rocks creates the bait to want to be around it, the fish to want to be around it. And it can make a tremendous difference. It'll make the fish really gang up in one certain area. This bad boy, that's what I'm talking about. Not what we look, not what I thought we're, we were gonna catch right here. But we will certainly take this beautiful trout. This is a monster for right now. Tattooed that kamikaze. Put him down. Get this lure right back from getting these bites. Got a west wind blowing. 
Shoreline's protected. Water looks good. Tide's falling out. Got another little spot holding some fish here. God, he's, he's like a red dog. That is the targeted species. That's some nice little dots on him. Look at all them dots. Gonna be close to making the team. We got another little rock pile here. A little underwater rock pile. You can barely see it. I gotta stand up on my platform to see it. A good little spot for uh, wintertime reds, although we did catch a nice trout there. They will stack up on stuff like that. That's the name of the game. That's what we've been doing all day today. Captain Chris found some fish on some of the rock piles in the intercoastal about a big lock. So we just been bouncing around some of that. We tried to be having new locks. We went back by the pin back in the, that's the marina back there inside the locks of Chalmette. You got the violet locks. We tried some stuff on the hot water, hot water canal. Now we're by this underwater rock structure in Bourne. And that's what we're doing. We're just bouncing and moving, trying to find that home run. Look at that puppy, baby. Oh, we out here chasing reds. And we catch a trout bigger than the reds that are on this spot. Look at that bad boy. Got that kamikaze choked. He thumped it. Kamikaze vortex. We're going to end the video on that bad dude right there. Red fishing in the winter. But don't be surprised if you catch a big trout mixed in with them reds. Make sure to subscribe to the monthly bait box. Get your hands on some of this, on some Vortex share, like this kamikaze right here. Get your uh, duck hunting, deer hunting jackets out. Bundle up, get out here, fish the estuary in the dead of the winter to find schooling reds and maybe a lucky big trout like this right here. Till next time, guys, good fishing.